When I think of my support team, I straight away think of my dad. He's been there all the way. He's a person that taught me how to throw a tennis ball and eventually a netball. For dad, he didn't know much about netball when I first started out, but he became, you know, an expert by the end of it. And he was always there sort of just encouraging me in every single way. The sacrifices I made for Maddie are not that many, really. We got up pretty early sometimes to go to training, but loved every minute of it, really. Having him in the car to talk about that training session on the way home, knowing that you always shared every experience with someone, yeah, it was pretty special. One of my favourite memories is reading to your kids, I must admit. There was a time that Maddie didn't make the under-15s for the state team, and I just thought, well, it's not that big a deal, Maddie. <laughs> just keep giving it a crack. Enjoyment is number one. Always having a smile on your face when you're playing. To any young girls who are thinking about stopping playing netball, I think think again. It gives you a focus, it helps you make friends and build skills that you can't learn anywhere else. You don't have to be the best, just be part of the team. The values that they learn out of being part of a team is so important. So Maddie, here we go over to the next one. All the dresses. Yeah, the support never stopped, especially once I did go professional and getting signed to the Thunderbirds when I was 16 at the time and about to start year 12. I can't imagine getting through that year in particular without the support of my family. Oh, I really love that one though, that Indigenous one is beautiful. For her to be captain in 2019 was just incredible. But I think I even felt prouder when she got up off the floor, I'm going to cry, when she did her ACL and then just was so stoic. I just remember having this sort of like an epiphany, I guess, of being like, I just really miss playing netball and I missed purely throwing a ball around on a court and it made me sort of think, you know, when I get back out on that court, I'm never going to take a moment for granted because, yeah, you, you never know when, when things can end. And that one, <laughs> I thought you were never going to get another chance, to be yeah. honest. For you to be there for this one was amazing. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? Very proud of you. <laughs> Silly surname we have. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my favourite session. <laughs> Look at this. So I decided to write Grace on the court for a few reasons. One reason was just to have something for young girls out there to, to read about that was sport related and particularly about netball. But I also think, you know, that transition from primary school to high school can be pretty tough. And particularly in a young girl's life, they can be some defining years. And for me, the saviour amongst all of that was netball and sport. Look at that, Maddie. You've influenced a lot of girls. If she can promote team sport and get kids concentrating on sport, being part of a team, I think that's a really good message. Makes me feel pretty good that they, yeah, either A, finish a book, or B, say they want to come and play netball or want to keep playing netball. Doesn't matter what level, as long as they're playing yeah, a team exactly, sport. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's a bit of a highlights reel, this one, isn't it? And how many happy girls are here? Look at yeah. that. Well, Dad, I don't think any of this would have been able to happen if you hadn't taught me how to throw a tennis ball <laughs> or catch a slip sketch, driven me to all those training sessions and cheered me on, so thank you, Dad. Oh, Maddie. <laughs> Love you. Love you too.